baby, don't you see? You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee. Good morning, team country. Well, I feel pretty good today, other than my throat's been bothering me for a couple of days. Last night I was gargling warm salt water and I swallowed a big tablespoon of honey and had cough drops and all kinds of things. And I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going on, but I do have a, well, not that my camera's gonna do it, but both arms in this area and the elbow I've got like a heat rash, and then I, I feel the same thing when I swallow, so no idea what it is. It does seem a little bit better today, other than, I don't know, feel like I need to clear my throat every single second, unless I'm drinking something, and then it goes away for a few minutes, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna tell you what I am gonna do. I'm gonna get it, regardless. And uh, it, it feels pretty good outside right now. It's 91 degrees. <clears throat> I'm about to hit the interstate. Oh, that does not feel good. Um, I got a lot to do. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. It's going to be a work day, but it's going to be a busy one. I've got a, the office is called and needs several favors and <clears throat> stuff. I don't know, picked up somewhere. Ladders and fans and there was a yard need mowed and stuff need hauled off from my house and I don't know it sounded like I need a, a couple of days into one but we gon' we gonna get it I seem to I seem to find ways and uh, today is gonna be one of those days where I'm going to find a way cause I'll be gum if I ain't gonna get it as the day continues Okay, everybody stop. I just got to this town home and I was sent to pick up a ladder and return it because there, uh, I guess a new technician, uh, not sure who, had this huge ladder where he painted that, oh, I don't know, 25, 28 feet in the air. Let's see, eight, 10, yeah, roughly. And uh, now I'm going to have to give a bid to go back and pretty much correct the entire house. Yeah, because the paint is freaking pathetic. Matter of fact, pathetic is not even, not even a good word. Th this is, this is sad. This is, you know what, I know camera's probably not going to show, you know, it's just really not, but... If you can't paint, don't paint. I mean, look, everything's supposed to be done. There's still mud work everywhere. There's some here. The paint is just... The whole house has got brown paint all over the trim, mismatched bathroom colors. I mean, I'm pretty much going to have to bid to do the whole thing over again. There, there might be a little bit of spot that I don't have to do maybe in the middle of a wall. Other than that, pretty much everything's got to be done. And they want a bid for me to fix it. And I don't think they're going to be happy with the price. Because it's going to take me, I don't know, minimum of two or three days, I have a feeling, to fix this mess. Kind of feel sorry for the company when they get screwed in, in this sort of way. Um, then again, nature has its course of... Uh, of reacting to karma um, not that it's the business's fault but you know it just karma in general has a way of uh, coming back and has this room even been oh my lord guys if you're gonna paint your house by the way don't use thin paint don't use cheap paint don't don't use crap don't whoever they went to Sherwin-Williams and they got Promar 200. You know what, if you're gonna do a tiny little wall and you're gonna use painter's tape on every single crack, 
by all means use that paint. If you're not going to use painter's tape, you're going to have to get something thick that will not run all over the place. I've already been to one job. This is number two. Um, the first one I just needed to secure a back door so nobody could break in. And now I'm here. Then I got to go pick up and install the oven. I'm supposed to take this ladder back. My other, I've got so much to do. It is definitely Monday. I, I felt like working my Saturday and Sunday again was going to catch me up. Mm -mm. Nope. Well, let's, uh, let's get an estimate ready. Just left Lowe's, and if you can't tell, I have an oven standing up in the back of the truck there. <laughs> and uh, the only reason I'm turning the camera on is to tell you guys this. They brought the stove up to the front door and set it there and left. And I looked at it like, okay, mm let me just throw that in the back of the truck there. She was like, I think they might have went on lunch. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just stand here and, uh, and wait on everybody to get back from lunch. Because um, if you guys think I can just throw that stove in the back of the truck, there's something wrong. She was like, yeah, I don't know why they would have just left it here. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, how about we uh, get me a hand? I'm not the Hulk. Oh, hey. I get it. Hold on. Got to get the window up. Oh, squeaky. Show up unload the oven get the cardboard off get it on the porch nobody's home mm -hmm. me and ben waited 30 minutes sitting there waiting on someone to show up oh pe look here people come on now it's been a minute since i've had the camera on it is actually 6 p.m and i have went to my stupid amount of jobs and came home and uh i just got done bracing uh tina d's porch it was who i don't whoever built it didn't concrete anything so over the years the two front posts that are not sitting on concrete uh, sunk in six or seven inches over the years which separated the joist from her walking platform and it was about to crash so i got under there and well we've got about i don't know eight or eight to ten foot of extra two by four bracing and i probably have a hundred screws uh put in total and i also put in two of the uh whatever you want to call these deck the post secure and i'm tell you what this one's sledgehammered see it has a little hole here a little platform where you can sledgehammer it down and then attach it to the post even with huge lag bolts but uh, I put one of those on each side got it secured up and I put six screws in each of the steps they were loose to and put back several of the uh, the railing uh, the spindles on the railing Whew. I'm exhausted I'm about to go in and Relax finally. I'm ready for a shower. These, hey, these khakis were clean this morning. Yes, they were. Not no mo. Mm mm. We we'll get her done, son. Oh. Now I really need to put the siding back. The siding had actually, the, the siding that was attached to the steps slowly sunk with it. So the siding was like that far under the ground where it just over the years just dug itself in so now it's all it all needs to be pulled off and readjusted or uh, the whole thing needs rebuilt i mean i could rebuild it in a day but gotta have wood we can't we can't do it without wood so all right I, and i'm on my second water in about 30 minutes about to be on number three anyway figured i'd keep you guys posted and uh ha ha no pun intended no pun intended we'll keep you guys posted uh-huh yeah anyway and and also raked out all the trash that had blown in there that you could not get to because of the siding 
foot anything that is blown which it is stupid how much trash you can wake up to in the morning and be like what where did all this come from stop being litter bugs guys anyway i raked out two huge piles of matter of fact i think there was even a Oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to find it. I remember seeing like an antique Pepsi can. Oh, oh, like oh, it, it. I was videoing. Anyway, I, there's like an antique Pepsi can. Probably 15 years old in there. I, I guess that's not antique. I'm calling myself antique. Oh, I need my water. Uh, anyway. Right. See you on a second. sit there and stuff your face hmm? that's all you do when you you're either napping on camera or you're having a snack hmm what do you think Willie you never have anything to say now's your chance no did you just shake your head no at me hey lick your lips if you love me <laughs> Willie. Willie. What's your issue? Hmm? Bandit. Why are you smelling her scrubs? Has she been around other doggies? Hmm? <laughs> Has she been around other doggies? Are you super peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> Bandit. Hey. Why are you moving around so much? You nervous? <laughs> He's like, oh, you smell good. <laughs> hey, if you're not going to drink that lemonade, put it in the fridge. Okay. Oh, Dad. You get to have poop shoved in your face. You left the gate open. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I'm coming right back. No, All right. Actually, it's yeah, outro time. We've been having puppy drama. <coughs> Big time puppy drama. Oh, all right. Anyway, so... The puppy has... I believe we've got, I guess, one of them's going to a girl from her work uh, uh, being adopted and we still have the black one who seems to poop more than a human being in two weeks within a couple of hours it's been it's been horrible guys <laughs> cute dog ugly mess ugly mess all right i'm getting off here we will see y'all or yins tomorrow. You gotta have it that close? Huh? You gotta have it that close? Have what that close? You gotta like this close to my face. This close? Yes. Oh. Hey. What are you doing? Hey, Yang Barbie. Huh? Yang Barbie. You wanna show him your chandelier? Look at there. I'm telling you it's like that. That's right, that's the dollhouse chandelier. Yep, just like that one, the real one. Huh? Up there. Oh, just, just like, like that one. It is. Just your own ceiling light. That's right. And it has bright, medium, and low. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the ceiling fan's only got one. Yeah. Oh, dear.
Yeah, that puppy. Uh huh. Alright. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you can do it. Get it. All right, life is hectic. We'll see y'all tomorrow. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I will not always be exhausted and working for the vlogs. Uh, if you're interested, if you go ahead and scroll on down or click videos on the page, there's over 200. I know, maybe 220 or so. So plenty for you to watch if you're new, if you wanna go back and see it all begin. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. Country Carter, signing out.